Hi friend, how are you? So in this video, I will tell you that how you install suction tool and use it for Wi-Fi cracking purposes. Make sure do it that you watch from beginning to end because this is a detailed video. So firstly, uh, we will see that how you install suction tool. Just open your uh, favorite browser and then I will uh, make I will provide this link to you in my description. Just go ahead and copy the code from here and open in your terminal just uh, go to in my case i go to my desktop I, and now as you can guys see that uh, i was in my desktop directory just place this command cd clone and then place the paste the github link which we copied from here just press enter now you guys see that i already installed it in my in my desktop as i just uh, tell you that i already installed it in my desktop so that's why it's not uh, uh, cloning in my desktop it takes about one minute or two minutes and then install in your desktop so from here i go to my root terminal by pressing this command and the Linux password and you guys see that I was in uh, root password just, just this ls command and now uh, you guys see that I am in root terminal just place this command again bash fluxion.sh and hyphen i hyphen i is very important if you install it first time because it installs all the tools in one time this is a command bash and flexion dot sh this command uh, sorry uh, i just clear it from here because it's so messy and again this i just go to my uh, flexion uh, directory by placing this command sudo flexion as uh, you guys see I was in flexion directory and now I place this command bash flexion sh and hyphen i as I previously tell you that it install all the requirements uh, and essential tools so make sure that you uh, run it from hyphen i in my case I already installed it so that's why it's not take some time but when you may firstly install it it takes some time about 5 minutes and install all the requirements for this so for that you are you also need uh, an adapter for Wi-Fi cracking purposes because Wi-Fi adapter captures the handshake and then convert it into captive portal so for that you must need uh, adapter uh, you also buy it from nearby shop so from that uh, from here uh, firstly we uh, capture the handshake and then we convert that handshake to captive portal so firstly I place uh, two and uh, as you guys see that in my case I have used one adapter and uh, for that so I place one to activate my uh, this adapter and now you guys see that these are three the three channels which you want to use and uh, mostly uh, people use 2.4 gigahertz so I am sure that you also use this 2.4 gigahertz so just place one from here and it scan all your Wi-Fi in surrounding and then when you see your Wi-Fi name just place control C command and it will tell you that all your Wi-Fi in your surrounding so from here you just uh, uh, select your Wi-Fi which you want to interest to hack so in my case I just put two because this is my own Wi-Fi and this video is for demonstra demonstration purposes and education purposes only so just place uh, two and then enter and you guys see that uh, the, this interface was appeared from here just place uh, one press enter and from here reset attack 2 and then uh, you uh, use 
use any of them but I recommend you that you must use MDK 4D authentication because it's uh, very strong. So from here just put two co-party verification then use one every 30 seconds and from here just put two synchronous recommended. So as you guys see this interface now what's it going what's the purpose of this it um, handshake it captures the handshake from my mobile phone it redirect the wi-fi my wi-fi to uh, my mobile phone so when my mobile phone was uh, disconnected it captured uh, the handshake as you guys see that it's working it's redirecting and then connecting again and again now it's about six channels when it reconnect and then again connect to me then it's uh, capture the handshake and stop that process then we move further to captive uh, capture our now you guys see that it's a pole mean a pole mean means it cracking its handshake capturing it now in this turn it um, make my uh, it make handshake and stop that window it's a very smoother process you just put uh, one two three and crack the password easily so as you guys see that it's success and attack completed close this window and to start another attack. So you guys see that it's capturing handshake. Now we finally turn our second process. From here just close that window and then place one select another attack because we already uh, success, succeed in our first attack. Just put one. Just put one from here and it redirect you to second attack. Now we capture our handshake. Now we move to captive portal and create evil twin attack. So from here just put one and from Y mean yes. Then uh, as you guys see that I have only one adapter. If you have two adapters then use it for this purpose captive portal. So in my case I have only one so I just put one to then again reset and from then again go to this adapter which was second lamp view place second and press enter. Now you guys see that these are the three attacks for deauthentication. So in my case I use MDK3 uh, you also have your any opinion which you want to use so from here just put one uh, from here again put one again put one and uh, from here use co party verification now hash verification completed and we want to create an SSL certificate to open an uh, a fake a fake portal so that you uh, have so that a uh, person can enter his password and we want to crack it so from that just put one and then again from here just put one disconnected and you guys see that it's uh, all the things that you want to see uh, it's for uh, capturing fake portal making fake portal so the user can enter his password and we want to capture so from just uh, this this was 68 number and we want to make it in English so just press 68 
just to 68 and all the windows pop-ups was appeared from here as you guys see and uh, now uh, I open my mobile phone recording for you guys there you how it happen so from that you can see these are all the Wi-Fi this is my personal Wi-Fi and it opens a fake portal like this uh, fake portal node 40 pro as you guys see that it's uh, both the e ssid named was same uh, and my wi-fi was not uh, uh, working now when i put on this sign in and you guys see that it's redirect me to this moment when i put this command My Wi-Fi is not working. Then the user put his now it asks me that your Wi-Fi password was saved, saved to and that your Wi-Fi password so was here. saved in Fluxion. Just open your Fluxion tool, go to Attacks option, then Captive Portal. And from here, just open netlock, and all your Wi-Fi password was saved in this file. In my case, I use not 40 Pro, so I just open it. As you guys see, that its password was this, and the time was this. Security name, channel, BSSID, and SSID name. All the things that you want to know was captured in this way. So that's the video and uh, I am sure that you guys can learn about more about Wi-Fi cracking and ethical hacking. If you like this video, share my channel and also subscribe my videos because it really motivates me. So thanks for watching.